Today we are doing the New York Giants. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, yesterday we did the Dallas Cowboys, and we got a bunch more coming up. Again, let me know what you think of the format, and um, let's just get into it. So when I'm looking at the team, one of the cool things about the Giants, and I've been I've been super optimistic about the Giants for a while. I actually really like what you have. I'm, I'm one of the bigger proponents of uh, Daniel Jones, although he does fumble a lot, but um, one of the things I've noticed is you don't have a lot of issues here contractually. The bigger issue, I think, is just talent. We got to just really beef up the talent in some spots. But, you know, you look at the running backs, obviously Saquon is the future, but maybe finding somebody else as, as a compliment wouldn't be the worst idea. We have wide receivers. We just got to get better. Tight end, same situation. We're not dire in terms of contracts or running out. We would just like to get a little bit better. Um, offensive line, very similar. Um, I'm not opposed to improving the offensive line. I know Nick Gates isn't your tackle, it's Cam Fleming, but this is not a good situation here at right tackle. Nick Gates is going to be our center. Cam Fleming is a free agent, and I don't see any reason to bring him back. He's not good at football. And Matt Pert, or Peart, if it's like the drummer, um, third round pick, I mean, I just, I don't know. Um, interior... It's tough because none of them really played all that well, but also there was some changes that were made. They did seem to improve a little bit later on. Some of it seems a little fluky in terms of like overall yearly grades. However, maybe just getting one, you know, if, if we come across one, you know, guard or whatever, a guy with some experience on the interior, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to address. Not top priority, just going through the list. Um, obviously, edge is a massive need for us. Um, I really loved the defensive line. The biggest concern I have is this was one of the strengths of the team was the interior defensive line, and I don't know if they're sticking around. Um, I think you got to at least keep maybe Tomlinson, and obviously Lawrence is going to stick around. Maybe you lose one, but you don't want to lose all of it because that was really impressive. Probably a big part of the reason Blake looked so good is because the defensive line was so good. Um, but, I mean, you look at this, I mean – the edge, we, we, we got to just get somebody that's that's really, really talented. And that is an option in round one. I know it's kind of automatic that we look to wide receiver or tight end, and that's probably going to be the pick because the talent level is going to be so much higher. And we really do need that to get our quarterback some help. But it's it's not impossible that we make a move depending on what happens. Um, and then the DBs, I think, are also in consideration here. James Bradbury actually graded out extremely well, but it was kind of a fluke. Um, I shouldn't say it's kind of, it, 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 it looks like a fluke to me because he's never been a good football player. And then all of a sudden, I think PFF had him as like the seventh best corner in football or something. So, um, but either way, you look at the rest of these guys and we got to get some additional help at cornerback. I think that's another pretty big priority. Even if James Bradbury is a pretty good football player, we got to get more guys. And then at safety, again, it's not really a problem with the contracts. Um, we we can say we're okay. These are veteran football players and whatnot, but I, I just, I don't love the talent level. If we switch over here to kind of back up what I'm saying on some of these issues here, um, here's the interior offensive line, right? Again, you look at, uh, who is it? Nick Gates. Um, we'll cut him some slack, right? This is a fluke. I think Nick Gates is a better football player than that. Um, there's, a, there's a whole lot of issues here, So I, I, but, I, but again, this is why it's like, mm, we could probably do a little bit better. Cornerback, see, we got James Bradbury, 7th out of 121st, but you click on him, he's never really been that good before, so I'm a little bit concerned, but maybe he broke out in year five. That almost never happens, but let's say it does. Outside of that, though, what do we got? You know, we look at uh, Logan Ryan, average, 49th out of 94th. We can do better than that, right? Um, Julian Love, 73rd out of 94. Dornay Holmes, 107th out of 121. We, we got to do a little bit better than that. And then here's our safeties. A lot of these guys are safeties that are kind of big names that I think maybe not Giants fans. You guys know your team, but a lot of us out here, it's like, oh, yeah, Jabril. I think uh, I know that name, so he's probably good, right? Not so much. Um, the best guy we have, and, and if you don't know, PFF scale, 60 is average. So at best, you got average from Jabril. Um, come over here to Isaac Yadom, although I think Yadom, whatever. Oh, he's I thought he was newer than that, but, I mean, come on, that's – that's really bad. So again, it's it's maybe not our top priority, but would I be willing to grab a safety? Absolutely. Um, linebacker, again, Blake's doing a really good job. I don't know how much of that has to do with the defensive line and if that regresses. Obviously, we don't need to replace him. He's doing a good job, but it would be nice to find a compliment. 
So bottom line, I mean, there's almost nothing we can't touch. I don't want defensive line. We do need edge. We w could use a linebacker. We could use a safety. We definitely need corner. I'm willing to get a right tackle. Interior offensive line is an option. Tight end is definitely an option. Halfback later on to get a compliment is an option. Wide receiver is a need. So quarterback and defensive line, we're not touching. Otherwise, it's open season. So that's what we're doing. And again, we are using NFL Mock Draft database. There's a lot of there's a lot of good simulators. I'm not trying to make any value judgments. Again, the biggest reason I use this is I like the rankings. I, I want these rankings, and um, I can either use my rankings, which I'm basically giving up on, and then go to another simulator, or I just come here, um, and this is this is the decision I'm going to make. I'm going to try to just stay on this and not pause it or whatever, and remember. But there's a very good chance I'm going to end up pausing because I, I really need to delve in and do a lot of things and i hate on the video when there's just a lot of dead air or whatever so um props for pausing it and actually stopping at that spot but since we start early i, I want to pause early and kind of reassess here so right away i mean we lost um jamar and, and Devonte. right those guys would be worth possibly trading up for but i love kyle pitts that's the biggest one that I'm tempted to trade up for. But again, remember, we have a lot of needs. So trading up is maybe not the best option. If anything, trading back. But, I mean, Kyle Pitts, Jalen Waddell, even Caleb Farley, Patrick Sertan, if that came about, I, I don't I don't think I don't think we're gonna need to trade, but let's kinda Ooh, Kyle Pitts, please. Oh, thank you. So that's where I'm at right now, right? Um we need some weapons. I think with, especially with Saquon, and, that, and that's another reason why offensive line is important, is is not just protecting the quarterback. Like I've said a thousand times, the only thing an offense does is pass or run, and you can't do either of those things without an offensive line. So the fact, I don't know why I keep looking at the microphone like I feel like that's where you guys are. You're, <laughs> I'm a little stupid. Um, but I mean, that, that's, that's why offensive line is critically important. And when you got a guy like Saquon, man, if you want to invest nothing but, in, but a brutal, a brutal offensive line that just dominates people, that's not a problem. Um, but that's where a tight end comes in. And I know he's mostly just a receiver. But still, it gives you that extra dimension, right? Um, so I'm, I'm excited about Kyle Pitts. I think it just is going to blow this thing wide open in terms of what's available to us. We may still need some more, but we have Saquon, right? In other words, if it's just Kyle Pitts, just like you guys have just Saquon, we can just focus on that. Um, this makes it a little bit more difficult, right? If you're just going to stack the box and try to stop Saquon, Kyle Pitts is going to kill you. So that it gives us just that opening things up, especially since we're attacking um, tight ends and whatnot a lot, because those are the guys that have to we have to decide what to do with if I'm the defensive coordinator. The, the linebackers are what's going to dictate, are we coming up or are we going back? And it's it's kind of like a pick your poison kind of situation. So there you go. Super excited about Kyle Pitts. Um, I'd have been happy with any of the, the receivers or anything like that. And again, we can go in any, any different direction. But, um, you know, if we're willing to even be kind of patient, and I'm going to kind of let's pause it here because we're kind of in some kind of a range. And again, I don't really have a thing. Edge rusher is one of the things that's really kind of important to come up for, and we are kind of in the dead period. And you can see Joseph Asai um, is kind of a big difference between him and Basham. But again, as much as we need it, I just would feel kind of sick giving away picks when we need so much stuff. So we'll kind of let it ride out and see what happens. But um, it would be kind of sweet to get Asai. I don't, oh, he's gone. Well, <laughs> that's a good thought. Let's slow it down real quick here. Oh, we're, we're next again. Whatever. Go ahead. Pick your guy. Um, I lost my train of thought on the last thing, but um, yeah, so so it's it's the linebackers that we're going to be assaulting all day long, right? You, you try to get that athletic linebacker, which everybody loves to uh, cover our tight end, but he's going to get run over by Saquon. Um, so I said defensive line is the one thing we don't need. We could get Bolton as a compliment, but we don't need it here. Basham, I think, makes a lot of sense. Creed Humphrey is an option. I think the pick kind of makes itself here. I mean, Asante Samuel is also a consideration as well as a lot of these other corners. But again, I just, we don't have that critical piece at edge. And I just think if we wait too much longer, we're kind of, I mean, we could check the box. And I think that's what a lot of people do with mock drafts. That kind of annoys me is, 
we just checked the box. And as long as you checked the box, then we satisfied it. Yeah, dude, but you took a quarterback in the fifth round. <laughs> He's not going to start, right? Same with tackle, same with edge rusher. If you think you're getting a starting player in the fourth or fifth round at critical positions, almost never, almost never. Um, so I'm not really waiting too much longer. I want to satisfy this immediately. We're going to go with Carlos Basham, edge rusher for the New York Giants. Um, I want to see really quick switch over here, just make sure, because sometimes you get back to back and it kind of sneaks up on you. Uh, um, so at this point, if I can kind of gather my thoughts, thank you. I will check my PC. Why don't you get a life, loser? <laughs> see, this is why you pause. What is going on? It's a, it's a new computer. We're, we're working out the bugs. Um, at this point, cornerback sticks out. Uh, we got offensive line, right tackle's getting a little iffy, right? We're getting into that, do we even want to bother territory? I don't think after the third round, I mean, listen, I know teams don't operate that way. If you need a tackle, they'll get one in the fifth round. I just, that's how my brain works. I'll get a guard in the sixth round and feel confident about maybe his ability to play or a running back or whatever, but a tackle, dude, he ain't going to start. There's no way. So maybe third round, right? Um, you got... Uh, I'm blanking on my own flipping team, the Packers. Our left tackle, who's very, very good, was a fourth-round pick. I know what round he was picked in, but I don't know his name, David Bakhtiari. Thank you very much to the guy in the back. Um, that was a joke. I can't hear you. Yeah, and, and again, we got a little ways to go here, but I'm trying to think. So, I mean, safety, again, is an option. Tight end is not an option. Edge is, edge is still an option. Now, we again, we have so many needs, I'd hate to double up but I'd also not hate to double up Ronnie Perkins, right? I mean, think about it again. We got the linebacker. We got the defensive line. We get two edge rushers, and if, if uh, Bradbury stays the way he is and Pitts is a good player, I'm talking myself into it a little bit here. Um, I think that's a legit, legit option, especially when you look at everything else. And, and again, we could go defensive line. It's not off the off the board because of things like this. I If, if Williams and Dalvin both go, we have to get a defensive lineman. But I, I think that's wildly irresponsible. Find the money, make it work. you got to pay at least one of these guys, so I'm going to assume or not. Um, I really I really like Ronnie Perkins here. I really do. I mean, I, I don't know that it's trade up and get him territory, but it's like I don't know if I want a lot of these other guys. Um, I just, I mean, a guard instead? I mean, we could get 2-2 Atwell and just get that dynamic – Kind of a guy going. We, it's a little bit early to get a backup. I think Kenneth Gainwell is still a little bit too much in that we're trying to get a starter kind of thing. I'm not willing to do that. I'm wanting to wait until day three for a running back if we even get one. Um, it's another one you can, I mean, three million bucks, you go out and get one in free agency or just re-sign some of the guys we got. Um, I don't know, man. I just, I'm going to be a little upset I don't even know if I want Ronnie Perkins 100%, but I'm going to cry a little bit if he's gone. But I am going to just wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course it's the Cowboys. Of course it's the Cowboys. Ugh. All right, so I don't want to do defensive line, which is our top picks. You know what's, what's an option here is a trade back. Because um, I don't want one, two, three, four. Baron Browning is an option for a number two guy. I think what I would want, and let's let's do this. Let's look at what he's good at because we know if we're going to get a compliment to Blake Martinez, Blake Martinez is a, a run stuffer, right? That's his whole thing. Let's just make sure that that's what he's still doing. You can see right here he did pretty well in coverage, but that this is what he is. He's a tackling machine. So if we can find a linebacker that is um, a coverage guy, then we'll consider it. And you can see he's kind of a does-everything Baron Browning. But that's not really what I'm, I, I mean, maybe, but I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I'm kind of looking at that guy who's like, you know, like a 40 run defense and a 90 coverage, just so it's like very black and white. Why don't you get out of my face? Very black and white. Like this is a coverage linebacker. I don't know. Maybe. I'm just not, not super into it. Um, then we got a running back. We could go Paris Ford. See, now, now back here, it's like, I want this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. This is an option. This is an option think we should trade back I just don't know how much to trade back but I wonder how much we could get let's see what if we went back to I don't want to go back too far but I mean this is all good stuff 
this is all if we went back with the bears how much how much money could i get here so if i traded this and this could i get your fifth round pick see it says i could is this fair that doesn't even what it, so that's not even a thing i can get a fifth round pick man i think i want that i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna trade back with the bears we'll see what the bears do oh yeah they get walker little they get their tackle that was a great trade for them fantastic we get an additional fifth round pick, which is where you can get that running back, that guard, whatever. And now we're looking at it. Now we got we still got Baron Browning as an option. We got Paris Ford at safety, Tutu Atwell at wide receiver, Cam McGrone. Let's see what Mr. McGrone is about. I'm looking at Michigan, and I know I've looked at these guys a thousand times. I just can't keep anything straight. Um, I don't believe this is a coverage guy, although oh no, he's clearly this is this is Blake Martinez. We don't need two Blake Martinez. This is what I'm talking about. This is why you want to look it up a little bit. Um, Getting lost in my tabs. Let's see. So Tutu Atwell, I really like Tutu, especially like as a Packer fan because I know they like that kind of motiony stuff. I don't know as much about that for the Giants because I feel like we still want our number one guy, and this is kind of a gadgety guy, so I'm kind of iffy on that. Although I'd love to get you another really talented wide receiver, it just feels like maybe not the best fit. Um, uh, we got Hamilcar, Rashad, Hamza Nasruddin. Let's look at Hamilcar Rashad here. I just I, I just want something to jump out at me and say this is the guy we want. So so he's a smaller guy for sure, and, and it would be a good compliment, obviously. I mean, look at this. He had a terrible year, which is why he kind of fell off. But, I mean, 2019 was solid. But it, it's nice because it's kind of that compliment. You got one guy on one side that's the bigger, you know, strong side guy, and then this is your speed bend kind of edgy guy. 23 years old, 6'4", 245. Um, he just had such a bad year last year. It kind of freaks me out. And and apparently, I know I talk a lot. Just get over it. That's that's what we do here. Um, what I had seen is a lot of teams are looking at guys that stepped up in 2020 to overcome adversity. And obviously, this is going in the wrong direction. Um, there are some good safety options. Hamza Nasral Dean was a first round guy for a long time before he fell off. Paris Ford is obviously higher. Let's look at Paris Ford and see if that kind of jumps out to us. See what that does for us. So that's looking it's looking not terrible, right? I mean, it's not bad. I mean, coverage is the most important thing. That's what he does, but he's a he's a run defense. He does play strong safety. So if I were to come over to let's look at our lineup here so I get a better idea. Jabril is, he's still only 25, though. I mean, it would be kind of, well, it wouldn't be. It would be like a, I don't know what it would be. I mean, it's its hard to say we're, we're replacing him, and he's kind of so late. I don't know. I mean, maybe if you're using three. It just feels weird to be like, hey, this is our replacement for Jabril Peppers, because I feel like they wouldn't do it. But we do need to get better, because Jabril is just not a good football player. I'm kind of leaning in that direction. I would say Hamilcar if he was a better football player. What is Hamza here? Let's do one last thing. One last thing. Let's look at Mr. Hamza. Bing, bang, boom. Bing, ba, 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 bo, beep, ba, bo, beep, 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 bow. 6'4", 220. Much bigger human being. Still a strong safety. Um, now, this guy is clearly more like he's just a dominant in your face. Get him in the box. He's going to smash you in the mouth. And again, depending on your style of play, if, if you utilize a lot of three safety things, and there's one quick way I can try to ascertain if that's what you do, look at the safety snap counts. So we got, uh, that's a cornerback. It looks like, see, it's just, there's not a lot of three safety. You got Jabril with 900 snaps, Isaac Yadam with 600 snaps, and then nothing. Nothing. So... It's it's just we're just looking at replacements and it's a replacement for Jabril and again he's so young, I just have a hard time thinking they're just gonna throw him off the team. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna end up picking two two when I just said don't do that. Um, I look here's the thing. Hamilcar had a rough time right in 2020, but I do like the fit. I do like the idea of getting two edge rushers. We need two. It's a good compliment. Maybe he needs a little bit more work, but we also need more bodies there. If he's not a full-time starter, if he's a rotational, you know, if he's just a pure pass rusher, you put him on third and long. I know we already got an edge, but we picked up an additional fifth. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get that additional 
um, an additional player there. It, it 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 only feels weird partially because he wasn't super great, but it but it let me pause real quick. But it also is um, see we got Paris Ford still sitting here. We could I don't again I I pause it so late. It's like this is gonna cost me like a seventh round pick to move up, but all the more reason I guess. But um, you know what you know what we need is a corner, and I think we're gonna get one. Let's just let's just see how this goes. All right, we're good. So. We lost one, but we still got Shakur Brown. Let me just look real quick at Mr. Shakur Brown. Um, that is that is kind of becoming a need that I was blanking on. But I mean, there there just weren't a lot of options at corner. This is this is beautiful. I love this. This just gets me excited. He's a smaller guy, which we're gonna we're gonna say that's the reason he fell. Also, look at 2019 is another reason. Like I don't know, he's kind of iffy. You want to talk about a guy that really took a big step? Look at this. This is coverage grade over here. Average, average, kaboom. So we're talking uh, 306 yards he gave up, one touchdown. He had five interceptions and four pass breakups in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games. I mean, small sample size, but dude really broke out here. And if we look at his best games, um, you know, you don't want to see all the best teams down here and garbage teams up here, but these aren't garbage teams. You know, I mean, the, maybe not the best teams, but Northwestern, Rutgers, Indiana, Granted, Ohio State is way down here, but, you know, he, he was still pretty average in that game. Whatever. This makes the decision for us. We're going to get that number two cornerback, and that's our guy. There you go. Feeling pretty good about it, right? If we didn't get a corner anytime soon, I would have been pretty disappointed in that aspect of this mock. I want to try to pause this sooner than I can. Sooner than I can. That's what happens when you try to do things and talk at the same time where are we i got two fifth round picks don't i where hold on oh we didn't have a fifth round pick so i got us a fifth round pick well there you go i thought we were getting two but now we got one um still need a wide receiver you can look over here where that's that's the thing that's true linebacker like i said interior offensive line like i said these are these are options and we got three more coming up so that's probably going to be the priority i'm not doing tackle because we're too late in the draft clearly not corner but quarterback maybe safety but again I, I always get kind of iffy on it because I don't know if we're going to move on from our guys we don't seem to utilize a lot of three safety so I don't know so this is going to be the priority if if there's nothing there I'll either try to trade or just go in these directions oh again running back is another option um and even defensive line if we want to try to get some more we'll see what the what the board looks like but I, I think we're just going to try to avoid trading because we got plenty of options here we just lost Daz Newsome, so that kind of stinks. And, of course, there's just nothing in terms of wide receiver. Um, we are kind of getting into running back territory. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to cornerback because, you know, again, it's it's just a matter of we kind of possibly need a lot. And, and because we didn't get an early guy, it would be nice to have a lot of competition um, because as excited as I am about Mr. Shakur Brown, I don't know. I don't know that he's going to be very good. So that is an option. Kylan Hill is an option. Um, Aaron Banks is an option. Um, let's take a look at what some of these guys are, because even with running back, we're going to look for somewhat of a compliment. Not that he can't be like a three-down back, but I'm I'm not opposed to it, because the problem is when you look at three-down backs, what are we doing here? Defensive grade. Yeah, that's what I want is a defensive grade, dummy. Um if, if you're a three-down back, but you're this late in the draft, you're probably not very good at being a running back. If you're just a third-down back, that's probably why you fell this far. So you can still be very good and have some value this late if you're a limited player that's just a, a gadgety kind of guy. Um, you can see here, didn't have the greatest 2020, but it's only three games. If you go back to 2019, though, when the last time he played, Kylan Hill, pretty good football player, right? There are some stretches of not great. And again, if we kind of sort this, you don't want to see all the best teams down here and all the worst teams up here. And there's kind of a little bit of that. Um, but you look at his yards per carry and whatnot. Oh my goodness. They added some stuff. Zone and gap. Woo, look at that. Um, that's new. That's new. And that's very exciting. And look at this. They even add, they added a bunch of stuff. Holy cow. I'm in love with this. This is exciting. Um, <laughs> I'm just sorry. Um, yards per everything changed now. This is after contact. Why did they change it up that much? Now I'm lost. Anyways, 
Where is just yards per carry, dude? You serious? That's stupid. Anyways, here's yards per carry after contact. Um, my, I can't say that. That's for some reason they put a swear word in here. Anyways, he's a he's a running back is what this guy is. I gotta kind of sort through. That. I, they just made a change. I'm excited about it, but I'm also kind of confused. Let's see what Mr. Ramondre is about here. I can't copy his last name because it's too long. It doesn't even fit on the thing anymore, but I'm assuming there's not a ton of Ramondres. There we go. Ramondre Stevenson. So this is, so you got his running ability. Let's check out his receiving ability. See if he can handle that as a receiver. Yeah, pretty solid. So that is an option. He's also a massive human being. So I mean, I don't think if we need a guy to come in, if, if Saquon goes down, this dude could probably come in and smash somebody in the face and we'd be okay with that. Just an option. I just wanted to look at that. Um, interior offensive line, the thing I love about later round interior offensive linemen, you can still find quality there. Um, Bobby Brown, if you really like it, safety is an option. But again, I want to try to stay focused on wide receiver, linebacker, and interior offensive line. I don't think we get a ton of value by trading back, so I don't know that that's super necessary. Um, check out Keith Taylor. I mean, again, I know doubling up on corner, I don't know, it's it's not the biggest need and we got other things to satisfy, but I wouldn't hate it because it's so critically important. And again, we're getting late in the draft. It's like the guy just doesn't offer much. The odds of this guy, I know he plays for a big program that usually has a lot of good DBs, but I just, I mean, if he can't really do it in college, I'm just, I'm not in love with that so much. Um, Bobby Brown, Aaron Banks is is kind of calling my name, and I hate to do it this early. Let's look at Trill Williams real quick. I'm just, I just want to see if anything jumps out. Trill Williams, um, another cornerback option. Again, I mean, he's he's well rounded, right? He can kind of do it all. He's only he's six two, but he's only a little under two hundred pounds. But I mean, he kind of holds his own. Consistent. He did have a, a breakout. I'm looking at the wrong year. I forgot I went back to 2019. He did have a bit of a breakout in terms of his coverage. So this could be kind of an interesting thing. It's a smaller sample size, but if you're looking for that guy that took a step, you're trying to find a steal later in the in the draft. Um, I mean, 80 passer rating when targeted, only gave up one touchdown, but had a pick and four pass breakups. Um, 14 of 21 were caught. I don't know. Trill could be an option, right? I don't. I don't hate it. He's kind of top of the line. Let's look at Aaron Banks, though. If this guy's just an absolute killer, I think I'm just going to do it. Let's see what Aaron Banks is. This, this could be the tiebreaker. We're looking for guard Aaron Banks. We're going to look at his allowed pressures. And as you can see, he is very good as a pass blocker and a run blocker. We see the progression as he gets better. Um, he allowed 10 pressures in 461 pass blocking reps. Um, zero sacks given up. I'm a fan, man. I think, I think, and again, as important as it is, and again, you can decide where you want him to go. You like all your guys, fine. He's going to come in and compete. I want to get better on, along the offensive line. The other thing to consider is where has he played? 2,000 snaps at left guard. Um, that's pretty much been his whole thing, his whole career. He does have a little bit of experience at tackle, but we're probably not going to do that and nothing at center, so we're not going to put him at center. So he's a guard. That's what he is. Um, and we, we're probably going to put him at right guard, I would assume. But again, I'll let you figure that out. I just, I want Aaron Banks. And again, that's what I love about interior offensive linemen late. Sorry about the furnace. You can probably hear that. But it's just the, the facts of life. Um, you, you can just, you still find some really good football players. You saw what the t what the, the cornerbacks looked like. And it's just like, eh, I just don't really like these guys. Um, but the guards, they just fall, man. Nobody cares. Nobody wants them. And so you can find, oh, we're back on the clock already. Um, Kylan Hill's still there. Ramondre Stevenson is still there. Steven something, I'm assuming. Trill Williams. Everybody's still there. Did I just pick or what? Anyways, um, well, yeah, because we got a, we picked up the late fifth. We get an early sixth. So everybody's still there. So we got to start all over again. We got a bunch of corners. Um, not a bunch, but we got another, we got a, another pile of edge rushers. We could get our first wide receiver, which I feel bad about, but I think that needs to be, if this guy can show me anything, I think that needs to be our pick. Um, because even though we got a great weapon, it's like, Nice to get a wide receiver in there, you know what I mean? 5'10", 190. Um, don't really care about his blocking ability, I'll be completely honest with you. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. And again, see a breakout year. He's a slot guy. Um, if we look at who is our... I can't see it here. 
Uh, do you show me? So you don't even have, I mean, there's nothing listed here for our lads as far as a slot guy. I don't even know. And I don't really feel like taking the time to go through. Well, whatever, whatever. Um, and I don't know how often we utilize that, you know, but it's an option and it, and we need a wide receiver. And, um, again, dude's pretty good. They probably switched all this up too, didn't they? They sure did. They got a key here so I can see what that is. Anyways, I'll, I'll fiddle with that some other time. Uh, reception per throw percentage, maybe. I don't know. Jeez, uh, what is all this nonsense? So here's his slots. Here's his slot percentage. So 71% of the time, I'm kind of going through this live as I can. I mean, usually it's like yards per reception, and the basic stuff is right here. I don't know why they got rid of kind of the more important stuff. Um, yards per route run. Oh, here's yards per reception. So they added a bunch of nonsense in front. So 6.2. He is a slot guy. That's really low. Um, but it's, you know, it's something, right? It, it's so, so we don't really have that deep threat unless we consider Kyle Pitts a deep threat, which he can be. I would like a, a field stretcher on the outside. That would really be nice because I feel like everything's so compressed in the middle right now. You know, we got our running back is in the middle. We got our tight end that's going to kind of start in the middle, and we can flare him out or do whatever we got to do, but it just feels like everything's there. If we get a slot guy that's kind of in the middle and he's going to run little routes like this, I'd like to push things out a little bit. Maybe I'm being picky because we need to get a guy, but and he does look pretty solid. I think I'm going to draft him anyways, but that I'll just say that's been somewhat of a disappointment, and 2-2 Atwell wouldn't have fixed that. Um, kind of a, a decent argument maybe for even getting Waddle just because it's it would have been nice to get somebody on the outside to handle all this stuff. I think I am going to draft him because we do need a wide receiver, but um, let me just see if there's another wide. Let's let's just look at Cade. Let's look at Cade. Do we even get Cade because he plays for? Yeah, we got him. So it's a smaller school guy. Again, 5'10", 180. Um, he didn't play in 2020 is why this is acting all weird. Another slot guy, his yards per reception, nine. So it's still not that much bigger. I mean, he's got great grades, but he's a smaller school guy. I'd rather stick with the more known quantity we are kind of late is there anybody else that we can look at here um i just want to see if we got any amateur baby i love that guy because of his name would you rather read a baby goat or a matter baby right you ever hear it no okay never mind never mind i'm just trying to find like, so we got a bigger guy on the outside. I wouldn't mind that. Grades aren't quite as good, but it's, you know, it's a big program. Uh, that's yards after the catch. I've been looking at yards after the catch per reception because I'm stupid. I'm st Forget it. That's it. All right. We're going Shy Smith. That's why the numbers were so low. Going Shy Smith. We're done with this. PFF, you're making me look stupid here. Oh, we get another pick right away. I should have been paying better attention to that. So, I mean, all right. So... We can double up, right? So we got the the slotty guy. If we wanted to double up, we can get a guy, like a bigger guy on the boundary. It's an option. Um, oh, you big dummy. Clicking buttons like a crazy person. I just want to see what... Uh, so 6'2", 220. Can you show me, please? What... Here's yards per reception. It's over here, 19.1. It was right here. Now it's over here. Okay. So 19.1 is massive. That's awesome. 6'2", 220 pounds. Um, the grades are not great. Again, it's just it's just an option. Just an option. Um, linebacker, clearly an option at this point. If we just come back here, find the best possible players. There's not a lot of linebackers. We did double up on edge already. Um, man, there's a lot of edge rushers here. Um, cornerback, bop, bop, beep, bop, beep, bop, beep, bop, beep, a lot of the same old stuff. I mean, it's just, it just is what it is, man. Um, is this our last pick? It is. So, I mean, this would be a decent spot to get a running back. It really would. Um, I think that's what I want to do. The question is which one, and I'm already blanking on which one was which here. Um, let me just see if this refreshes my memory. Actually, I don't think we looked at Kylan Hill's receiving ability, so let's look at that and see. So he's not a good receiver, um, and I think that's going to make my decision for me because I want to have that ability. And again, Ramondre was like, what, 240-something? 
So you get that extra little, I don't know where my tabs are. This guy's 5'11", 210, which is a nice complimentary thing. But, um, I mean, it's hard to turn away from a guy that's a solid receiver at 246 and a really good pass blocker. I mean, that, that just makes the decision for us. I think we're going Ramondre. And, again, we maybe don't need to do that, um, but this is, this is the biggest reason. All right, Saquon, we're going to be paying pretty soon. We, we got Gallman, Lewis, Morris, and Penny's in the final year of his contract. These blue guys are all free agents. I don't know if we're bringing them back. We, don't, we shouldn't need to. Maybe for the sake of depth, we want to bring back at least one of these guys, but um, it's not because they're a massive asset, right? It's you know, not that a seventh-round pick is going to be a massive asset, but it would be nice to just get a young player to be that backup so we don't have to pay guys money. Um, which, I mean, we're going to do that probably anyways because the draft is after free agency. But, um, yeah, we're going to go Ramondre Stevenson, and there you go. We'll let this play out, but um, I think we hit on the major points. We didn't go out and get a complimentary linebacker, but I thought we did a good job with that, especially, you know, you look at our ability to stop the run. Didn't touch defensive line, so it's going to be a priority to make sure we bring those guys back. Um, we didn't really get any running backs, so again, and, and again, with that, we have the guys, we can just pay them to stay. So it wasn't a massive need. That's just, this kind of shows we, we got to keep those guys around. Sure, we'll save it. Um, you going to kick me out now? I want to stay here so I can look at my stuff. Thank you very much. So I, I think overall I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I think the one biggest thing is we went kind of late with cornerback, and, and when you go late it would have been nice to kind of double up, but I'm a big fan of Aaron Banks. And what he's going to be able to do for us, we were able to pick him up because of a trade back. Um, we did double up on edge, so that 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 right there is a priority, right? This was a priority, and that's we can just check that off the list as far as getting a weapon. I think we did that. We doubled up on edge, and it was back-to-back -back second and third round. So I think we can more or less say that at least somebody's going to be able to step up, and we're going to have a better presence there. And it's going to help with the interior, and everything else is going to get better as well. Um, again, the the wide receiver and cornerback being late is kind of iffy for me but because we got Kyle Pitts I'm less worried about it would be nice to get that big speed guy on the outside you know you look at a guy in free agency like Fuller that's going to blow this thing wide open you know financially how feasible is that I don't know man those guys are magicians with the cap but um you know just getting that speed guy on the edge I think is is going to be a big need and again with if Bradbury continues to play at a fairly high level um you're looking at Shakur Brown and it's, you're just looking for that complimentary number two, plus the guys we already have there that are developing or that are, you know, competent. Um, it, it, I think we're going to have a decent enough group. And, and, and just overall, like, is this the team that's going to win the Super Bowl this year? We probably still got a little bit of work to do. But if, if the stars align, right, if the offensive line does take that step, you get the weapon, you've got a decent enough quarterback, you've got a really good running back, the defense, I think, if you just add that pass rush presence, and is, assuming we don't have garbage corners, if you have really good pass rushers and we keep that level of run defense where it is, um, again, as long as we don't have completely garbage corners, and you don't even need to have that good of corners if you've got such a really stout defensive front um, because obviously it puts pressure on the quarterback. It takes a lot of pressure off the cornerbacks. Um, I just think that there's going to be a massive jump. So... Um, I would say much more so than I was with the Dallas Cowboys. I'm actually a big fan of this. It's always tough because you can't always get everything you want in the way that you want it, in the priority that you want it. But overall, I'm happy with it. But uh, make sure you drop a comment below, please. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, we're going to be doing lots of these guys. Um, hit the little bell notification so you don't miss anything. We do some group mocks, and I'd like to try to do a mock where we have 32 people in there. Um, so I will be posting links to that, but make sure you hit the bell notification so you don't miss when I drop that link, and we'll do a group mock together. Um, I kind of messed that up last time, but whatever it is, what it is. But otherwise, uh, I'll catch you next time.